guys, welcome back to another video, and today, in this video, I have a new box to show you. This is something that I purchased from a YouTube friend, um, <clears throat> named Goku Not Restrained. He sent me a message through Discord, and um, he was like, hey man, you want this? And I said, yeah, um, I paid 125 for this, which is uh, not bad, if you ask me, so, yeah, I, uh, been wanting this thing for a while so let's get right into it not gonna lie I actually was kind of uh, hunting this thing down for a little while but wasn't dying to get it you know just uh, <laughs> fight if I did get it and yay if not then oh well so that was pretty much the uh... <laughs> yeah I don't know what you would call it but I have always wanted one of these though and uh yeah, he did tell me that it was uh, hard to find. Don't know if that's a hundred percent true, but that's what he told me. All right, so. Package nicely in bubble wrap. And there is the box itself. I know it's hard for me to get it in shot, but let me get to where you can see it. Right, so there it is, the River Rossi uh, red box. Let's look at the product code. The product code, if I can get it in shot. <laughs> Sorry if it's out of focus. Oh, there we go, much better. R5449464 Hudson, Boston and Albany, number 604. So yeah, that is the locomotive. That is supposed to be in here. Let's open this box. Here's the instruction manual. This is uh, based on a J3A. That's uh, New York Central Hudson, but not really worried about, worried about that. Is it upside down? Oh no, it ain't. And here is the locomotive. Sorry for the cut. I got <laughs> called out, but yeah. Let's look at the engine again. There it is. Might have dusted off on the box wear, but it looks really nice. We'll zoom in on that. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna get it in focus. There we go. It's a much better focus now. Yeah, this thing looks pretty detailed. Oh, is that a bit of. I don't know if that's a bit of green that I can see from the engine or what, but if it is green, I feel like it's a really, really, really uh, dark shade of green, but it does look nice. I cannot wait to see it running. All right, so I'm going to get the tender out and we will have a look at it. All right, that was the locomotive we've just looked at. Now time for the tender, which this one... Uh, is more greener than the locomotive is. Can I zoom this in? Yes, I can. And there is the tender. Like I said, it's based off of a J3A New York Central Hudson, but hey, who to complain? It's a Boston and Albany, eh? This green kind of reminds me of a uh, military, mil uh, military green, if I can get it out, but yeah, it, it looks nice. If I do say so myself. Yeah, 604 is his cab number. Alright. I'm gonna dust the engine off and we will see this thing running. Can't wait. Yeah, this thing does look awesome. I'm gonna have to dust it off just a little bit. I also saw a little bit of hair on the drawbar, or not a drawbar, the pin on the tender. I might have to clean the wheels too. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> I do apologize if you can't see it right now, but <laughs> better be safe than sorry. Yeah, that's a lot of box wear, but it's pretty common with uh, these River Rossi stuff. I tend to get box wear uh, a lot, but they're pretty easy to clean off with just a dry paintbrush and you should be good to go. So, uh, again, I do apologize if the shots are blurry or hectic or whatever so yeah all right 
That's the engine dusted off. Well, actually, how are the wheels? I know the wheels aren't too bad on the locomotive, but I think the wheels on the tender may need a bit of cleaning. I don't know. I'll have to see about the running condition of this thing. He did show me a clip of it running, but uh, <clears throat> you'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> on a box where on my table. <sighs> All right, here's the engine. I turn my power supply on. Hmm. Let's see if this moves. I'm sure it will. Like a, he showed me a video of it. Nope. There it goes. I'm assuming it might need a bit of waking up. Well, I mean, it is um, warming up pretty quickly. So yeah, it's a nice runner though. Well, I guess it might have meant to say it's waking up pretty quickly. So that's a bonus. Yeah, it's a, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm loving it. And I know a lot of people might get annoyed by this, but the way the tender has a lighter shade of color than the locomotive, in a way, I kind of like it. I don't know what it is, but I kind of like it. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't know how to describe it. It looks unusual, but rather, even though it's unprototypical, but um, Will did tell me that this railroad did have um, really weird paint schemes in a way, so I guess I can respect that. But yeah, um, that's what he told me, and uh, it, it looks nice, I gotta say. So there she is, turned back around. Now, I don't have any Boston and Albany coaches. I don't even know if any company made those. But um, she is going to be hauling some of my uh, Southern Crescent Limited coaches. Although the baggage car may be extended just a bit further out from the engine. Because of um, I don't have the right coupler to uh, hook it close enough. But yeah, she's a... Uh, just going to be holding those coaches. I don't know if these guys hold freight in their lives. They probably did some mixed traffic work back in the day, but I have no idea. But yeah, let's haul, let's see it haul some freight. I mean, uh, pff, not freight, passenger work. Pff, I got to get my grammar right. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of dust, but oh well. Good of a jolt there. And there it goes. It looks really good holding the uh, the consist. Even if they're not accurate, but I personally like it. Looks good. I think I might either have to clean the track or its wheels a little bit, because uh, it is sort of stuttering. I think the track, we'll, we'll see. That was the Boston and Albany uh, Hudson by River Rossi. This is going to look great in my collection. Uh, I've always wanted one of these, but I wasn't dying to get one. But hey, you know, I'm happy to have it as a welcome addition to the collection. So, yeah, a uh, huge thank you to Will from Gopernopper's Trains for selling me this thing. Um, thank you so much, Will. It's a, a wonderful locomotive. I'll definitely cherish it. Um, thank you so much for reaching out to me. Um, I do apologize if you've seen it stutter. I'm, I'm assuming it's my fault because I need to clean the track. Or I may have to clean the wheels due to the box wear. But 
you know, I'll probably get right to that soon. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, huge thank you to Will. Again, go subscribe to his channel. Uh, he makes some really good content. But yeah, uh, he makes good River Rossi content for that matter. He's more of an expert than I am. I'm pretty sure he pretty much knows everything about River Rossi like the back of his hand. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Will, once again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.